100% Pure Rock 1077 The Bone 1077 The Bone That is Megadeth in the Metal Zone I'm Nikki Black and you know Megadeth is going to be at San Jose State Event Center on February 23rd Along with Motorhead, Volbeat and Lacuna Coil That is your Gigantor Tickets are on sale now at LiveNation.com Before that we had Exodus, Funeral Hymn And Ozzy Osbourne's Diary of a Madman And in the studio with me Madman behind the kit for Exodus Mr. Tom Hunting how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Still recovering from the Niner loss last week? Um, yeah, I'm still proud of my boys, but yeah, you know, still kind that's of. That's what happens arm. when you put a rookie on punt returns. Um, do, you think, do you think we should go after Peyton Manning? I am a huge Peyton Manning fan. He's gold. We've gone from metal zone to sports people. We have. Sorry, <laughs> it was that's an accident. Right. Metal and sports are kind of like they go hand in hand in some respects. They're both kind of gladiatorial. Yeah. You know. Um, one elements. of the things, and 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 Bailoff loved basketball, right? <laughs> one Bailoff, of the things we wanted to talk about. Paul Bailoff would have been very happy about the Giants <laughs> beating the Niners. Yeah, we love him, but he could be a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> He would have been a dick about it too, wouldn't he? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I could quote what he would say. He would say, "Attention, have, attention! <laughs> start spreading the news." <laughs> so, bonded by Bailoff, the memorial concert. It's uh, next Saturday, February fourth, at the Oakland Metro. Tickets are going fast, right? They're almost gone in advance. Yes, it's going. They're going very fast. Do you know the ticket outlet where people can get them? Do they just go to the Oakland Metro Opera House website? I'm the wrong guy to ask about yeah, that kind just of stuff. Google Bonded by Bailoff. Just or, find them. Or Google <laughs> Oakland Metro Opera House and you'll find them. But we do suggest you find them in advance because uh, I'm pretty sure with Exodus, Possessed, Forbidden, It's Heathen, approaching sold out already, I'm told. Yeah, so. and that's the big names. There's what, like seven other bands on the bill? Forbidden's playing and um, I thought Heathen was playing. But yeah. No? I'm the yeah. wrong guy to ask no. about that <laughs> stuff. <laughs> well... <laughs> From what I've seen, it is uh, Exodus Possessed, Forbidden Heathen, um, and then like seven other bands. I think it's like Mudface and a bunch of local guys. Mudface, Venting Machine, um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and yeah. a bunch. Yeah, a bunch. Like you're getting your money's worth. However it's much ten it is bands. To get in. I hope we go yeah. on before one a.m. I really do. <laughs> Good luck with that. Yeah. Yeah. But so, if we do, it'll be just like a a bailoff show. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it will. So ten years since we lost Paul. Um, yeah. What made you guys decide to put this together? Um, we just wanted to do something to kind of commemorate, you know, his memory. And, um, you know, it's almost like 10 years to the date, two days, two days more. Yeah. And, you know, we, we kind of wanted to do something special and there'll be some surprises. You know, we're going to pull out, pull out some people that haven't played in this band for a long time and just basically, you know, have a good time. It'll be great. Awesome. Remember, tickets are on sale now. Um, I Honestly, I'm sorry I don't have the ticket web link off the top of my head for you, but the Oakland Metro is one of those ones that doesn't go through Ticketmaster as far as I know. But Google that bad boy and buy your tickets in advance and uh, stick with us because Tom Hunting is hanging out and actually choosing quite a few of the songs that we're going to be playing. It's the metal I'm taking zone. over the DJ. Yeah. 107.7 The Bone and Exodus, Bonded by Blood. I'm Nikki Black and in the studio with me is Tom Hunting from Exodus talking about Bonded by Bailoff. It's happening this Saturday, uh, not tomorrow, but the following Saturday, February 4th at the Oakland Metro. And we looked it up. It's oaklandmetro.org. And if you go to the event, Bonded by Bailoff, there's a ticket link there to buy tickets. So what we came here to talk about, Bonded by Bailoff. So, Tom, for people who haven't been with Exodus for its extensive, almost 30-year history, what you guys are at least 25, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Getting up there. Give them a little rundown of the history that is Bailoff. Uh, the history that is Bailoff. Well, Bailoff joined the band actually before Bailoff. I was the singer, and then um, <laughs> how awesome was that? Yeah, I first met Bailoff in Berkeley at a Harry Carey Hans Naughty show, and Kirk <laughs> Kirk actually knew him before I did, mm-hmm. and um, he was just all about metal. I mean, he introduced us to a lot of things we never heard before, and um, he actually gave me my first. He gave me the money to buy my first real drum set, and he loaned me loaned me a thousand bucks, and I. Went straight to Don Wares in San Francisco, and was that the first, last, and only time Bailoff had a thousand bucks to loan? That's awesome. <laughs> well, he had a thousand when I paid him back. Awesome. I don't know how I don't know how long he kept it, but yeah, he never was really good at managing his money. But that's okay because he managed the microphone. You know, he was he was more about metal than any of us could probably ever be. You know, and metal's not about money. Yeah, and especially back then, it wasn't about money. Amen. And, <laughs> yeah, and um. You know, we're all still trying to get some of that. But. 
<laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, it was it was a great time. It was like it was a formative time for this kind of music, you know. And Paul introduced us to so much, so many things we hadn't heard before. You know, I'd never heard Tigers of Pantang or, you know, a lot of the new wave of Br- British heavy metal stuff. I n- I'd never heard it before. And um, yeah, so it was a good time. So at what point uh, did Paul leave the band for the first time? Um, In 87 or 86, actually, before we recorded Pleasures of the Flesh. And so, I mean, in in the history of this band, you know, members have gone out and come back in and gone out and come back in. This is my third time around with the band. <laughs> So, but this band's kind of like, you know, Jack says it best. It's like the Millennium Falcon, you know, a part goes out and we plug in another part and still try to keep it fast. And, you know, one of the fastest ships in the fleet. And um, it's not easy <coughs> to get it into hyperspeed, but when it does, it's the fastest. Yeah. Ship. Once Chewie fixes the hyperspeed <laughs> button, it really kicks butt. But um, tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Every time there's a Star Wars reference, I have to I have to use bad touch Chewbacca. <laughs> So, you know, we reunited with Paul in 97, and it was great because it kind of like everything became full circle, and, and then he died in 2002, and, um, you know, we all miss him, so this show is going to be kind of special, it's, you know, commemorative of of Paul and metal. And just just for people who may not have heard or may not believe the rumors, Paul really did, like, live that whole Death Deposers thing. He he owned it. Well, he never killed one. Yeah, okay. But you know, but he did tear the tear the shirts off of a few you know rat fans or you know even Motley Crue fans. But the truth of the matter is, we all loved Rat and we loved <laughs> Motley Crue. <laughs> you just couldn't tell anybody back then. Oh, it's awesome! You, know, you guys are out of the closet. It's kind of like you know when we were in school, it wasn't cool to like the Journey with Steve Perry. But you know, now that I'm older, it's like. I love that stuff. Oh, nostalgia. It's taking its toll. Yeah, the truth <laughs> comes out. Awesome. Bonded by Bailoff. It's happening next Saturday, February 4th at the Oakland Metro. You can get tickets at oaklandmetro.org, and we do strongly suggest you get them in advance. Pretty sure it's going to sell out with a lineup like 10 bands, including Exodus, Possessed, Heathen, Forbidden, uh, Mudface, Hellfire, uh, I'm not even reading these. I'm like trying to remember them all off the top venting of my head. Machine. Venting machine. Oh, the venting machine's gonna be mad at me for getting them the last two times I've mentioned it. Um, yeah, it's 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 basically a Bay Area who's who of metal, past, present, and potentially future. So it's gonna be an awesome show next Saturday. Uh, Tom Hunting hanging out with us tonight on the Metal Zone on yeah. 107.7 The Bone. 100% pure rock. 107.7 The Bone.